Hi everybody, sorry if it's windy and it's noisy. I'm in Ontario and it is about 10 degrees Celsius. Sorry, minus 10 degrees Celsius. And tonight it's gonna get down to around minus 15 degrees Celsius. I'll be sleeping out, bug out style, stealth camping style, with just what I'm wearing and whatever's in this bug out bag. So there's a sleeping bag in there, thermo rest, long johns, got some wool scarves. I also have a video about what, what's in there, so I won't go into it in detail. There's a, a German shovel that I really am starting to dig, pardon the pun. I'm in an industrial setting, so if I were bugging out or stealth camping, I would definitely be looking for some cardboard, maybe an old tarp to salvage from or borrow from someplace, and wrap up in that or cover up in that to keep the elements out and the wind off of me. So I'll definitely be using some cardboard. Just go behind all these units and find some. There's quite a few industrial units in this plaza and the adjacent plazas. All right, let's find some shelter. Huh. Well. could pick that and sleep in there tonight, but I don't know what's in there. It could be full. Plus it's someone else's property and I'm not really that desperate. Huh, lots of junk over here. Yeah, that looks gross a lot, all that stuff. This, however, this is very interesting. Oh, big bag of rocks. <laughs> oh, nice wicker chair. <laughs> Could hunker down under that for the night. Some cardboard that could come in handy. Oh, some plywood, I mean. It's gross looking though. This whole stealth camping looks a little gross so far. What is that? Wow. Someone living here? I won't be sleeping in there because who knows what happens here at night. Oh boy. What's this? Bag material? Is that another bag of rocks? Who <laughs> leaves a bag of rocks around like that? Sick people. Look at this. Yes! Score! It's a rhino bag all ripped to shreds. That looks like shelter to me. Where to sleep. Out of the wind would be nice. Protected from creepsters and backs of trucks would be nice. find a place that's out of the way that won't alarm anyone that I'm out of the wind that nobody calls the cops on me thinking I'm a vagrant I'm sure I'll figure that out but for now shelter what do we have here jackpot The morning after, and this is what I tried sleeping in last night. That fits into the bug out bag. It says minus 10 degrees Celsius on there. I don't know who they're trying to kid. That is not 
a four season bag at all. It's small, it's a great bag. Perfect three season bag for me because it does fit in the bug out bag. So it's better than not having a bag at all, but it gets cold here. I'm in Ontario, Canada, and wow, man, last night was minus 15. The Thermo Rest, or the Mountain Equipment co op version of it, is perfect. That I will keep in here in this in this bug out bag. That said though, last night last night's mission was a failure. I just got too cold. I gave up after about two hours because <laughs> that's about the size of a football. Like I said, it's an awesome bag for a three season. But right now we're in that fourth season. And that's winter in Canada. What I really need is this. This is my friend's. He lent me it. I'm gonna try it out next week. Look at the size difference. Obviously this Wiggies bag isn't going to fit in my bug out bag. It's going to have to hang on the bottom on the outside, which is fine. That'll be the the four season bug out bag. I'll just have to add that because I could have slept in this last night I, and I piled cardboard on top of me, under me. I had that tarp, that rhino bag, tarp-like material that you saw earlier and it was still just too cold. 